and welcome back to another video. This, I guess, will be the finals of the August Monthly. Yeah, round back four. Round four finals, yeah. yeah. We got uh, Derek back on screen. He's obviously tearing through the league, so to speak, with his Tuckatrice deck. So we'll see how he faces off against yet another burn. But this is like um, an Arabian Nights burn, right? In yeah, sense? Burnham and Burnham, uh, Burnham, I guess. Burnham, Burnham. Burnham and Burnham. So let's see. Oh yeah. Uh, so here's the deck right away. So you got your Curd Apes. Which I, I love that card, honestly. Like I'm, a, <laughs> I, I, I do love Zoo Burn Aggro stuff. So Lo I do love Curd Apes. Urnum Jin making an appearance. That's uh, for the third time I think in a row. Um, yeah. Every deck has basically been playing that card. Oh, well, it's just so powerful. I yeah. Mean, Elvish Archer is actually making a first appearance. Yeah, it's on curve, right? You gotta stick something in there. Like I say, Iron Claw Orcs in red. This is the Elvish Archers on in green. Like, yeah, put something on turn two for sure. Yeah, he's got a lot of turn one plays. He's got a lot of turn two yeah. plays with the Pixies, uh, the Arch, you know, the Elves, uh, you know, Bolts, Chains. Yeah, everyone really came this month with Lightning Bolt and Chain Lightning in their deck. So, would not have been a good month for shops uh, with the Juggernauts, I think. Every yeah, opponent. I think it just would have been clobbered. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just a bad, uh, unfortunate medical had you showed up with the Juggernauts in your deck. But, anyways, um, I don't know. It's looking pretty, pretty typical. Just a different, a different way of aggroing and burning your opponent. Uh, elves are interesting. I don't know if that's correct. Uh, I mean, it's a, they don't tap for both colors. They do attack for one, but is there Pendlehaven? There is a Pendlehaven. Yeah, we got one Berserk, which is a nice little. Yeah, I do uh, like Berserk. Giant growth Berserk could be fun. Yeah, a nice way to finish your opponent. Interesting enough, only three factories. I'm okay with, with the that. Blood Moon uh, once again making an appearance on yeah. board. But I'm okay with uh, only three factories. Like I think three strip, three factories is a reasonable thing, and that's what he's doing. Especially when you're playing two colors and you want to guarantee that you get your colors. I think it's okay. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. No channel and no fireball, though. Ah, what a shame. I mean, it's okay, though. I mean, I understand. Uh, yeah. Sometimes channel is just sitting in your hand doing literally done nothing. Like, you're uh, not going to make that joke, but yeah. Anyways, uh... <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So, uh, yeah, I came to see what this deck does. And well, this is Derek's deck. If you've been paying attention, watching the, uh, the other videos, you've seen it before. That Cockatrice, when it finally lands, is a scary card. Blocks most things, kills everything else. And, uh, yeah, I mean, he seems to get to four and five mana pretty fast. His elves, his dorks uh, like him a lot. Yeah, so I he's, mean, uh, he's always, you know, he's got seven mana dorks. Yeah. And he seems to get them out pretty quickly. But he's also got the power pieces, which helps him a lot, and the jammed eye tomes, which helps him filter through his deck. So that's just really good. Him too, giant growth, so he won't be able to play the same mind games as he played in last week's video. Because yeah, exactly. his opponent is also playing giant growth, so there could be some interesting combat uh, mental mental games happening there. Exactly. So interesting. No berserk, so which I find kind of interesting. I would think you would probably like maybe splash one of, considering you're playing four Disenchants and two Scavenger folks. Which card? Sorry, which card? Uh, Berserk. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, because you have like four Disenchants and you have two Scavenger folk. I would have maybe put... Why like, Berserk? What does Berserk have to do with Disenchant? I was saying because he already has like six cards for artifact removal. Yeah. Take a couple of those out, put a couple of Berserks in. Oh, you're saying like... Yeah. Swap them. Be more, yeah, swap them out, be a bit more aggressive. That's just me personally. Yeah. I mean, the only problem though is that, like, other than the gins, there's no, like, big boys that really benefit from. Yeah, that is true. But then again, same thing with the other deck. They're all two, they're all two ones, so maybe, maybe actually it would be okay. E well, maybe either it just means that Simon or Simone should not be playing Berserk, or it means that Derek could probably afford to play one. It's interesting. We'll see how. Because uh, it's interesting to note that Simone actually also has one in his sideboard. Yeah, that's true. Um, but you see, like, Simone's deck has uh, two scavenger folk in the side. Um, and no, like, artifact removal in the main, where Derek seems to be a little bit more afraid of yeah. artifacts. Derek's balances and plows are going to be nice, I think, uh, outside of the board. Yeah. Balance for sure. Like, that could be rough. So anyways, we'll see. I mean, I think... I usually tend to, even despite what happened in the last uh, week's video, I still tend to favor the burn decks over what's, uh, what Derek was doing, but it's still very interesting to see Derek's deck in action. It's very exciting, so... Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh. <laughs> Rolling for the 
nice. Branching paths. Love the old school retro Nintendo uh, very, uh, remote playmat. Very much on theme and flavorful, these playmats. Yes. Yes, Nintendo. Something that was created a little bit before your time. <laughs> what? Talking to you. Didn't Nintendo come out in the 90s? Uh, it was the 80s. Yeah, the Nintendo entered the, the NES was in the 80s, right? Yes. Of course. 1983, son. You just saying that? That was in Japan. But still, yeah, 83, 85. But I did actually I did grow up playing this on my grandmother's house. So, yeah. I missed okay. it. Regrowth, Cockatrice, Stream of Life. Else. Stream of Life is actually kind of funny if Derek... Is it a Stream of Life? Yeah. If Derek figured that... Uh, or that Tranquility... No, a Stream of Life, no? No. Isn't that the Winter Blast? That's Winter Blast? Yes. Oh, it is. Look at you. Top X target creatures. Winter Blast deals two damage to each of those creatures with flying. Oh. I was going to say Stream of Life would probably be better, right? Yeah, this, probably. Uh, versus uh, the Burn decks. All right, we, there's our Kurt Ape. We get a, Kurt Ape. We get a Taiga Kurt Ape, just for the fans, even if it's just me. That's a makeshift Taiga, but doesn't really count. <laughs> okay, wanting to knock Derek off his mana dork. Yeah. Probably figuring he's got an Ernie. Okay. Hmm. Derek opting for the curve play instead of uh, stripping, which is okay because if he's this, if he's on the mana destruction plan, then he can strip whenever he wants, whenever a better land comes into play. Yeah, exactly. The pixies. It's interesting if he if he strips the forest. Knowing that Simone was playing the Kurt Apes, then he takes them off the plus one, plus two. But if he strips the mountain, then he takes them off from playing the Kurt Ape. Yeah. Or if he doesn't strip at all and develops his mana, then he's setting up his game plan, which I like better. So. Well, I, sometimes developing your own game plan. Yeah, well, I mean, like, Derek's two fours and four fives are going to block everything that Simone was doing. Yeah. So, better. Those giant growths. Uh... And berserks come into play. Yeah. There we go. There's pretty. And another creature. Good, good, good. So go wide is how you have to do it. And then threaten your own giant gross when he blocks with a 2-4 or a 4-5. So. Yeah, exactly. Oh, got the cockatrice hit. Yep. So do we have a, an attack with a block? And a damage to get rid of it? Let's see. How brutal would it be if he played a lure? He just like... Mm, yeah. <laughs> okay. 246. Four, Going in. Coming in hot. He either has another bolt or a, tri or a giant growth, or it's, the, or it's a massive bluff. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Dealing three more damage to the cockatrice. Derek goes to 14, I believe. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, if Derek just plays another another big body, and Simon only got one card in hand, Derek's in a good spot, I think. Of course, when you're playing a deck with all those dorks, and you know he only he only has eight real threats, so. The chances of him actually having a follow-up are, are low, but... Dervish is just pro-black, right? Yeah. And but it gains plus one, plus one when something happens? Yeah, when it, I think it attacks and... Uh, it's not blocked? It is not blocked. That's not how you spell that. So... Okay, well... Blocking one of his pixies. Yeah, so if the dervish deals damage, it gets a plus one plus one counter. Yeah, if you deal those damage from the point. So I'm just coming in turn after turn. Pixies, archers. 
Regrowth? Regrowth the cockatrice? Yeah. Ooh. If the body, it really does block everything, so. Yeah, exactly. But Derek's still gonna have to take four next turn. Yeah, he can't afford to block unless he has another line in his hand. Oh. Two, four, goes to eight. He's got. Oh, that's pretty good. Yep. Ooh. Yeah. He really, Simo really curved out, curved out well this game. Yeah. Spicer, and there you go, Derek, uh, showing us who he is with his spice forest. <laughs> yep, Cockatrice blocks the Urnum Jin, but he still takes four, goes to four, and then, interesting. Well, if Simo draws a Berserk, right, that's a uh, lethal, I think. Yeah, because it gains trample until another turn. Yeah. Doubles its power and gains trample. So, yeah. Ugh, jeez. Yeah, you just gotta block the gin and hope you draw some creatures. Or balance, but balance is in the side, so it's looking like we're gonna go to game two here. Derek maybe considering his chances of staying alive. It's not looking very good at the moment. Hmm. Interesting, yeah, keep the cockatrice alive, but he needs to play another creature. At least one more creature. And and then Simon has to not have... Well, he can't have burn because he has no mountains. But he can draw giant growth or berserk. Or one more creature. Or a hurricane. Right? Hurricane does damage. Like, hurricane is an earthquake, right? Flying creatures. But also the players or just... Yeah, creatures? players and flying creatures. Okay. Does Derek have? I didn't see his hand. Well, he has he has Winter Blast, right? He can tap the creatures from attacking. Oh, there. And then he's gonna Winter Blast both of them, right? Or no? Hmm. What's his out? Oh, time twisted. But didn't he have Winter Blast? How does Winter Didn't we just read Winter Blast? Doesn't it X and 2 to have creatures? Flying creatures, I believe. No, doesn't it just doesn't it deal damage to the flying creatures? To have X creatures, and then it deals 2 damage to the ones who have flying. So he could have. said that he, has flying, but yeah. if those two creatures don't have flying, it doesn't deal damage to them. Yeah, but at least he still taps them. So they don't, they don't kill him. He just, like, he took a time walk, right? Well, not really, but kind of. I mean, you can still tap the creatures, but they don't deal with damage. I think he's just hoping for a time walk, and hopefully try to get out of the... Uh... Mm. Time twisters are always, uh, always fun, even when they, even when they hurt you. Yeah. <laughs> just drawing cards is great. Yeah, it's, it's one of those, uh... What? You know. Either it works really well for you, or it, like, blows up in your face. Excellent. Okay, so Derek conceding to the power on board. Too yeah. strong. And two earnings, too strong. Earning himself a chance at game two. I'm very excited to come home to mail tomorrow. <laughs> But today is the ninth. ninth? Okay. Oh yeah, it's a day off, right? Yeah. I hope it's not a day off for Domino's though, because that's where my supper and yeah. lunch for the next two days are going. You should probably uh, rewatch these videos. 
all unions. Yeah. Domino's well, Pizza. Yeah. Well, they won't be released. Yeah, it's fine. <clears throat> it's okay. All I know is, is that I'm looking forward to... Uh... <laughs> Man. Library, Lotus, Mox. Pretty good opening hand. Pretty good hand. And we have mana, 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 and... Ancestral. Find the cards that your mana are going to pay for. So Derek's hand looks really strong. Yeah, both opponents really uh, got some pretty good opening hands. Yeah. They're going first. Not looking at how long the video is and not considering how long the last game was, I would give the favor to Derek. We'll see. Only time will tell. But like just from the opening hands, not yeah. from how the game can develop, of course. Because I've had games where you just have a, a killer opening hand and then yeah. you just draw like dead cards. I think Derek has to play the elf here. Don't play the ancestral. Good. He knows what he's doing. Do you think the Elf was the better play? Yeah, 100%. Okay. Ancest Ancestral is going to be the card that you use to find the card that your Elf is going to pay for. So you might as well play your mana, and then when you've got one card left and it's Ancestral, play Ancestral and then play everything you draw. The only thing you're worried about from Simon's side is a Time Twister effect, which if you played Ancestral anyways, it would have been useless, so... Oof. Well, okay. Yeah, sometimes you also just do that. And he even was able to draw off the library. Yeah. If he has a follow-up forest, that's like rough. Yeah, but still, the elf also would have allowed him to use the elf to play the next elf and then still have the blue available for Ancestral. So I think, uh, I think definitely playing the elf was correct. If he has a lotus in his hand, then he can ancestral now to try to find a cockatrice or something, or a gin. Okay, why not use the pendle haven? Unless he has a second dork. No, he's just passing. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe he's just not wanting to play it right now. But you have the land untapped on Simon's end step. You just ancestral, no? Oh, I know. Mm, that's... He's not even playing, he doesn't even have a mountain in play to, to threaten Red Blast. Interesting. Okay, so well... Two damage is not four damage, so that's good. Even if he uses Pendle Haven. No, that elf... Uh... That elf does not have haste. No. He just played the elf. It, sh it can't be tapped. Right, because the ape goes to 4-4? Four, four, or 4-5 yeah. or, or something? And then he made the elf a 5-5 five, five by tapping it to pay for the giant growth and then using the pendle haven to pump it as well. So, that was a... Yeah, a bit of a misplay. A misplay there. Well, not misplay, just like a rule... Forget. Yeah. Like it was the correct play. You just couldn't do it, that's all. That's yeah. it. But it was the. <laughs> like... oh, are they realizing it maybe? No, it's because both have Pendle Haven. It's a legendary land. See, back in the day when we used to play Magic, if I had a legendary card and you had a legendary card. Yeah, the first one to play it. The first one to play it would, keep, like, would you... lose it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So yeah, they were being used as removal instead of uh, yeah. as they were intended to be. Yeah. Like these epic characters just being exactly. used as like a doom blade. Because, you know, or especially back in the day with the Elder Dragons. Yeah, 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 yeah. And stuff like that, so you just slime your own Elder Dragon. And then that whole... Okay. Yeah, I mean, the whole game is fucked, though, because, like, that Cogatrice can't be in play. That elf is dead. That yeah. elf is dead, the Cogatrice can't be in play. Wow. Well, This is the way us old timers used to play magic, right? Yeah, yeah. Much mistakes. The elf has haste. Damage is on the stack. That's what are you talking about? So. Just throw it 
playing a whirling dervish. But then again, it's all for fun, so... Yeah. So... Just like, look how it's getting so out of hand because even that whirling dervish couldn't be played. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good God. Uh, where's a city in the bottle when you need it? Yeah, and still two damage coming through from the ape. Drops the arc to 18. <laughs> yeah. It makes me wonder how many times does this happen to us when we're playing and we just don't realize it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, I think looking back at one of the videos, oh no, it's true, we had backtracked because you had said something and then we had went. No, we're impeccable, please. Uh, we don't make I think it was one time I forgot to take damage from yeah. City of Brass. And then we corrected it by, giving, by taking too much damage off of you a, a turn later. <laughs> so it's all balancing out, really. We only pretend not to know the cards sometimes to make it, you know, fair for everybody else. It's it's about yeah. your life is about yeah, yeah. <laughs> sixteen. What's interesting is that Hurricane does deal with cockatrice on like earthquake, which from which was Peter's issue. Yeah, that's true. So Oh, yeah, but again, it's just it's not possible. <laughs> well, he's got a savannah, so. If you think about it, it's like Kurt Ape has not attacked for three turns, and Jin has not attacked for two turns. So that's uh, four, eight, that's 14 damage. <laughs> oh, very nice, very nice. The hurricane. Hurricane? Yeah. And it deals damage too, yeah, that's really good. Now you attack. Attack. Well, for sure with the Jin, and you can block the Dervish if you really want to. If he wants to giant growth it. Oh, okay. He's he says if you want to attack with your Dervish and get one counter, that's okay with me. Yeah, I did that once, and then it spiraled out of control many many sunsets ago. I was like, yeah. yeah. The only thing though for him is that if he's doing his math, then he's like. Yeah, like one more swing and then and a bolt or giant growth kills Derek, so. But yeah, I can see how you're like, ah, I can afford one counter on the Dervish, and then it's like, well, I can afford one more. That almost has a 6-6, <laughs> six, six, and you're like, wait a minute, how did this happen? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. They do have to give each other a creature with a uh, forest wall. Yeah. Well, since both have a forest. Well, Derek having the less life total. Taking out the ye old counters. It's actually a dice game. <sighs> <laughs> If the dice until it's on the card, then it becomes a counter. Jeez. Don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? Another eight. I think you still attack. I think you still attack. No, never mind. If you had access to... No, no, no. Yeah, okay, good, 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 good. I was going to say, no, no, no. Don't hit the forest. You need that. <laughs> you need that for your forest walk. Yeah. Though if you're Simo, you probably just turn everything sideways, you know, even if he wants to value trade, you get like six damage in and then it's just a bolt. So really a bolt or giant growth off the top is fantastic for Simo. 
That blocks that, that blocks that. So one, two, and three. So two, three. No, he doesn't kill him with a bolt with a bolt. But he can no. pump the elf to be a two two. Yeah, that he can do. It's the only creature he could pump. But considering Derek is playing Lure, I think you just throw everything at Derek's face, put him down to two, and then the, then he wins next turn with the with the elf, which has Forest Walk, right? Yeah. I mean, if Derek had Lure right now, yeah, so that's, you get that's, this like clear. I think like that's the other problem. But I think he only has a one of, so unfortunately, it's not. Yeah. A card he's probably gonna draw, so. Do, 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 do. So he's just contemplating. Derek himself is thinking if he should do an all-out swing, perhaps. But he gets punished for that, so he can't do that. Yeah, he's going to get punished. He gets he gets punished by death. Bring back... Uh, what's it called? Capital punishment? Yeah, capital. <laughs> Jesus, that escalated quickly. That's another gin. Yeah, see, I think last turn was the turn for Simone to do the Alpha Strike because it would put Derek at a position to lose to a Forest Walk King creature plus a Giant Growth slash Burn. Whereas now he probably can't afford to do an Alpha Strike and the Giant Growth and Burn won't be sufficient. So yeah, he gave himself an extra turn, basically. Yeah, but Derek's still, I think, in a bit of trouble. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. The life totals are not in a good place for Derek to be giving unblockable. Like, you might even... Oh, no, because he's still getting plus one anyway, so it doesn't matter. Let's say if you kill the, the elf and something else has to get to Forest Walk, then you're attacking for one extra, but the Pendlehaven is already taking care of that. I mean, Berserk also is amazing, right? Berserk on the Djinn? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just to dry it? So he just has to wait a couple more turns. He well, has to no, get... So like now he wins with Bolter or Giant Growth, right? It's yeah, just the one much. extra turn that he, it took him, but he's still in a good position. he got like 12,000 creatures in play. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, Derek's playing an Ancestral, so he might not be out yet. Well, he lure. his lure. Lure. A lure. <laughs> But all reasons to just attack with everything, because Derek would have been forced to block. Yeah. Simone's sitting there with his, I think I won this uh, hand pose. Yeah, the, uh, I'll wait. <laughs> I call it the yeah. I'll wait. Empty-handed, so might as well just wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We got a, we got the classic. I think I'm dead, but I'm gonna look at the board and really make sure I'm not missing a single thing uh, from Derek. Yeah. Like I'm doing math too. Like, what if I do this, this, and that? What if I attack with these and that? What if I don't attack with that? Yeah. Like, what are the probabilities? That I mean, but at four he's got life. five creatures on board. Yeah, and also at, at four life, it's rough. Yeah. Like maybe if he had a couple of giant growths in his hand, he could maybe not be even then he's a too low with four life. <laughs> yeah, I think Derek just contemplating doing his calculations. He gives the cockatrice the... Interesting. Maybe he's just feeling confident. Oh, well, he's got an extra creature. Yeah. I 
And I think that's game. Derek, one last chance. What can he do? That's not enough. Yeah. He can attack for two. And, uh, yeah. No, no, uh... It would have definitely been hard-earned. He would need, like, an Ernie Berserk Berserk. Kind yeah. of. But unfortunately, like uh, you had mentioned, Derek is not playing Berserk, so... I think it should be like an auto include for all like all the green decks. If you're gonna go really heavy on the green creatures, and especially if we're gonna play giant growth, maybe. Yeah, we got an all-out swing, and it won't matter because well, Jared could have like giant growth, so I think Simo just has to just be like, yeah, I'm just gonna block everything and, just, but like you know, not kill your gins. Which, well, it doesn't matter anyways because the characters already have four as well. Yeah, just don't die. Basically, that's the plan here. Like, you might as well just block everything, right? You're yeah. in this position where you're like, I know the right thing to do is block everything, but, like, is there anything I'm missing where I could get punished for doing that somehow? But, uh, no, there is not, so. Yeah, just take two, possibly eight. And then Derek says... Time walk? <laughs> Time walk. Yeah. Yeah, it's like when you have so many creatures, you just want to make sure that you have all your bases covered. Yeah. Yeah. Well, a bit too late for that. You just don't sacrifice the forest walk creature. Yeah. Unfortunately, a little too little too late. Well, actually, it doesn't even matter because Derek's tapped out, so he could literally, doesn't matter what he sacrifices, he's just gonna untap and just attack. Just attack? Yeah, yeah just attack. Penalty then. Alright. Alright. Congratulations to Simo for being the monthly uh, winner. Yeah. He takes I mean, the wolf and the uh, Tundra Wolf card. I mean, Derek uh, coming in pretty close. Yeah, Derek. A uh, couple months in a row. Yeah, coming very strong with, uh, with his own special deck, so. He's always the real winner. No offense to the ones who actually win. But uh, yeah, good good stuff. Uh, good signing the card now. And uh, oh, he's signing the. <laughs> Is that bad manners? Making the opponent sign the card that you just fucking killed him with? <laughs> or is that maybe that's like a thing that Simo does? If I ever he wins, he just makes you sign. It's kind of a unique thing. I would have waited a little bit for the eight to drag, but that's uh, just me. Anyways, uh, very nice. Like I said, it's always fun to watch Derek's deck in action. It's always like even better when it wins because you, maybe you're not expecting it to, but then it comes and it does its thing. Yeah. But uh, burn uh, Simone getting uh, revenge for Peter in a sense by making the burn deck uh, come through here and taking the big win. So. Yeah, burn him and burn him doing its thing and uh, yeah. took the win. Dodging uh, City in a Bottle of Good. Yep. And, uh, that's it for this month. Yep. Always next one. All right. Later, folks. Thank you.